See you. What up? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Thursday, August 26th, 2021. I just signed into Vim here. Chippy booting me out on the regular. I don't know why it does that. What's the deal? What's the deal? Be booting me. I'll be trying to get in and trying to post it. All right, what's going on, dude? I got this mouse pad over here, too. Double my mouse pad. Fucking peeling and shit. What the hell? My mouse pad is peeling. All right. I'm digging it up because I got these poker chips. I'd be fucking shuffling these poker chips. All damn day. All day, bro. I used to do it actually in. Like my mid videos, I hit video 2000 too yesterday. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that crazy? 2000 videos on YouTube. And I even started like, uh, if you look at my oldest video, it's it's like, it's my video like 117, I think. So I had 117 videos before that, before my first YouTube video. And I actually had them on DTube. I had all my videos on DTube. So, DTube is where I started. DTube! And uh, I probably would have stayed on DTube, but DTube fucking... Uh, they came out with their own token, DTC, I, th I think it was called. DTC. Dirty Titty Coin. And they fucking... Um, like, I don't know what the hell happened with that shit. Like... At, at first I was getting their, their token and I was posting like you spend their token to post and it was all cool then all of a sudden I didn't get an upvote or something on one of my videos and I ran out of tokens and then I tried to post again my next day and it wouldn't let me post because it said I had no tokens I had to buy tokens I was like fuck that I ain't buying shit the fuck Yo! So I tweeted out to him and shit, the DTube dudes on Twitter. And uh, they didn't say shit. So I, I tweeted at him again or some shit, you know, whatever the fuck. A couple times, at least twice. Posted it. I made videos about it, but nobody said shit about it. So I was like, fuck it. Well, I guess these fucking herbs don't give a fuck. So I gotta be on my way. And then I was like, yo, I didn't want to go to YouTube, man, because I was trying to be like in the crypto shit, like, fuck YouTube. But I, that's where I went. So I went to YouTube and uh, 2,000 videos now on YouTube. Isn't that crazy? 2,000 YouTube videos. Damn. That's some wild ass shit right there, dude. It says that I created my channel in October 2018, but I actually didn't start posting to my YouTube channel after those, those 117 videos. So it was probably like 90 days after that, which would be like November, December, October, November, December. Yeah, it's probably around like December 2018 or January 2019. I don't know if it has the exact date on my videos, but if it does... That's the date. You just gotta look at that shit. So pretty cool. All right, somebody's hitting me up. Yo, what up? How y'all doing? So two thousand videos, man, and our guild in Splinterlands is going strong. Rank number one thirty three. Our Splinterlands guild. We are stacking sets. On our way to one full Bitcoin. Oh, damn. On our way. <clears throat> oh, come on. Oh, come on. 
take a look at uh oh love potions going up all right let's take a look at bitcoin now what is it Forty-seven thousand. it's it's down a little bit in a minute it's down a little bit what are we at here Forty-seven thousand two hundred. like this shit's gonna be 100k it's gonna just double in usd turns before we know it <clears throat> and uh should be interesting so somebody's hitting me up um i don't know what to tell them like yo i'm making a video <laughs> hey now can't say that though can't say i'm making a video hey you watching Doug? hey hey you waiting for me to go live Doug? did you hit me up oh yeah it is him it's fucking him! Nah. I'm trying to trap me like that, girl. Yo, trying to trap me though, huh? Should I say? It's nothing. Say nothing. Still say nothing, bruh. So the guild's working out here in Splinterlands. We got our peeps rocking it. All our dudes. It looks like this dude, cool Bayaka. He was in diamond. He had like a uh, 500k power or something. And uh, it looks like he rented it. So that's a good idea. If anyone's trying to level themselves up in Splinterlands, just rent some shit. Rent some cards. And get yourself up there. Like this dude, he got himself the diamond. And then that's it. Now he gets his diamond rewards. Bam. And then you just get more power as you get more quests done at the higher levels. Your reward seasons. Let's see. Where are we at? We're at diamond one. So, yeah, you get 60 loot chests. That's pretty good. 60 loot chests. Pretty good. And our guild's doing our thing. So, you know, if you want into this guild right now, you have to maintain a thousand rating minimum. To roll with us but i'm probably going to increase that but right now it's going to be a thousand looks like everybody's doing it except for mine prison and mine prison it seems cool you know he's throwing up 200 deck to the guild seven quests mine prison i don't want to have to boot him out you know he seems pretty cool pretty chill he's only got 1500 power so what i did instead of booting his ass whoosh, i'm a boot your ass what I did instead of booting his ass is we got 20 join requests too, but I just threw up some more fucking, uh, I just put 30,000 deck into our guild hall. So now I got 60,000 into it and I should have just get all my money that I put into Immortal gods back. Like what the fuck? I was in Immortal gods for like a year and a half paying 2000 deck every season. For like a year and a half for what like all that's wasted then they just boot me out like what the fuck so now i'm in the position of a leader here a guild leader and uh you know i'll have to kick people out too but not if they're maintaining you know which i was i was maintaining so what I that's what I did. I just bumped up 30k so that we could have more members. 18 members now. And I'll just throw another 50k in there. Shit. Shit. Give a fuck. We got 50k. What we can have 19 members, you know. I'll I'll get like to 100 k I'll throw 150k up in that bitch. 150k up in there. We get 21 members. 21 million Bitcoin. That's all. That's all there is. So you know, Bitrio bangers, bruh. We trying to stack one of those. Let's get one. So if you love Bitcoin and you play Splinterlands, yeah, let's go, son. Yeah, let's go. Hop on it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just complete your daily quests and shit. The buildings. I got all the deck over here. You know, I got all the deck. Whatever. I, we're, I mean, we're, I don't know. Are we going to get to level 10? Probably not. Unless somebody else comes with a high level that could help me out. 
And then the Lodge. 57 quests. Three quests to go. And we pumping it up to level three. Pumping our Lodge up to level three. You know that's fresh. Fresh Lodges at level three. And you get the deck bonus. So everybody in our guild now gets 2% bonus deck in all ranked battle wins. We don't get a shop discount yet, but I think we're going to get one soon, right? Level three, do we get one? Oh, 1%, Doug. We're going to get 1% in the shop. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, we'll probably take our shit to level five. You'll get a 5% bump, Doug. Level 10, you get a 20% bump in deck earned. And then here's our baby. Baby. <laughs> Here's our baby baby little arena here. We got this little baby arena. This is where we fight. We're like little kids, little toys, toy soldiers. We're like little toy soldiers and we fight right here in this little battle arena. That's how we do it. So we had our brawl going down. Hey, what's up, Panda? Yo. And uh, our brawl's doing good. Look, we're currently in fourth place. With 60 points here. And the team in front of us, Crystal, has 61 points. So we could get there. How's our guild doing? I'm 6 and 0. Oh, yeah. Leading the charge. Quality pants, 3 and 4. Brett, you got to step it up. Blue call, 2 and 1. Touch. Duff shy touch Def she two and four getting shitted on momo juice two and four y'all get spanked kayamang two and four what the hell rick x e x e goddamn two and seven rick you get straight stomped damn rick need to get your skills up bruh the fuck FF Nation 1 on 1 and Panda 0 on 1. Damn, let's take a look at Rick, dude. Why Rick getting freaking straight stalled? He's got 100,000 uh, shit, but I don't know. Does Rick even play, Doug? He's only got one quest done. I wish you would say. I wish you would tell me, like, uh, when they joined and how many quests they could have. Like, quest max, quest done. So I can see if they're really keeping up because when you join the guild, it uh it takes 24 hours to start counting your contributions. So and that's what I'm saying about Mind Prison. You know, Mind Prison doing his thing. Mind Prison out here doing his thing. He's down here low at 500, but 500. What can you reach? 1500. He's got 1500 power. What can he reach, dude? All right. He can get out of bronze one. Okay, 1,500, dude. Yo, he can get into silver. Let's go, dog. You can get there. What you doing, my prison? What the hell's you doing? Come on now. 500, bro. I mean, you got seven quests done. That's pretty cool. Still might boot your ass. Y'all got to stay on that shit. So what I'm thinking we do... So right now, I'm going to start it at 1,000, you know, minimum 1,000 rating. But I want everybody to work it up, get their power up. And I think we'll just become a gold league, a gold guild, where everyone has to have 100,000. 100,000 power, getting gold, and that's how we roll. That's pretty respectable, I think. I think everybody could do that. You could rent it even. You could get the diamond if you want. You can get the legendary like me, too, if you want, or champion. <clears throat> you could do that and that's good but i think gold is pretty you know it's pretty cool i ain't gonna get all crazy about this fucking guild shit because it is just a deck sink you know it sinks your fucking deck so you know i still want to stay at three million power here so i'm sitting over here at three million power on splinterlands sps airdrops and i want to stay there you know i want to stay at three million so I could get these airdrops. And look, 30 days. So we're 30 days in. And it went from like 900% APR to 175. Damn. I was hoping that it stayed at 200 or over 200. 
Uh, but it's going down fast. And that's just the way it works with all stake and shit. You know, that's why, like, proof of stake is shitty. Proof of stake sucks. Who the fuck? With proof of stake, like, the winners stay the winners. All you have to do is just have a bunch of money and you stay rich. You know, all you have to do is just have a bunch of money, stake it, and then you're forever rich. You're forever in power. Proof of work, you got to keep up with the technology and you got to maintain your uh, your facilities to, to mine, to work. It's work. Proof. Prove that your ass is working. So... We're, we'll ride it until we can, you know, until we're riding it. Like, that's the thing we're doing. We ain't marrying none of this shit, you know? We marry Bitcoin and all these other ones. We just ride in these things, man. You know, we're just fucking around. Like, like I said, with Ethereum, I would never put my life savings in Ethereum or any, any other altcoin. I always say this, so, you know, this is just me, but... I would just never do that because all these coins suck you know they're good until they're not type of thing it's like the music it's musical chairs like right now everybody's dancing we dancing everybody's having a party right now you know there's tons of seats available nobody's sitting in them because we don't give a fuck we're up and we're dancing bruh. The fucking music's blasting. You, we dancing. Uh huh. The money's flowing. Oh damn, make it rain. The fucking drinks are flowing. The punch is flowing. Everybody, man, having a good old time. All right, who's texting me here? <clears throat> All right, I'll have to read that later. <clears throat> You know, everybody's having a good time. Money's easy, right? Easy money flowing. Money's easy. Money's flowing. And that's cool and it seems good until it's not. Then all of a sudden when it's not, you're going to have to have the hardest money ever known to fucking humans. And that's Bitcoin. So that's where I'm at, you know. Have fun. And I like to partake a little bit, you know. I'm down for a little party. So I can get down with a party. But as far as like committing to this shit, come on now. Don't be fucking stupid. Y'all can't be that dumb. But there is, yo, there fucking is, man. There's people that are like all in access token, hive token. Uh fucking you name it. There's probably some people that are all in SPS. I mean, what the fuck? But look at it, it's up to 50 cent. Oh shit, dog. Oh shit. I should have got more. Oh damn, it's up! That's the FOMO, right? <laughs> That's, I ain't missing this boat. I ain't missing this. Like Ethereum, there's people that are really into Ethereum like that. Like they really hold it like it's their, their savings. <sighs> hey, go ahead. Everyone has to make their own choices in life. Don't listen to me. You know, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just on here giving my opinion. This is how I do. This is what I do. But I ain't, you know, your daddy. I ain't your daddy. Nah, I ain't being nobody else's daddy. So I'm at 3 million power here, and it's cool, man. I mean, look, SPS turned Splinterlands into a top tier game. Bam, instantly, overnight. SPS has turned Splinterlands overnight into a top tier NFT game, hands down, no doubt about it, no questions asked. This is the missing link. It was the missing link. And now they plugged that shit right the fuck in and uh, created. I mean, think about the creators of the game who have like 30 million power. No joke. 30 million power, dude. So just take a look at what I got. I got 10x. Dude's making 80k. <laughs> 80k in 30 days. Oh, damn. And that's just at the price it is now. When this shit goes to four dollars, like my prediction, I mean, just multiply that shit by fucking eight, six hundred thousand in a month. Like for real, that's the type of shit these motherfuckers are pulling in, dude. So, you know, they have done it. They have fucking made it, man. All these dudes are buying houses and shit. I'm trying to get there though, but I'm not gonna be greedy. Maybe you could call that lazy. Like, I'm not, like, 
doing it hard enough but i look at stuff as like slow and steady like i want to do this you know this is what i want to do so i don't want to burn myself out i don't want to do stuff that i can't continuously do over time i want to be able to keep doing shit little by little but man the greed like the just seeing that people are making money like that damn but it's too late it's too late that's the problem it's too late because all the splinterland cards are expensive as shit now look at this fucking market dude and i got something up here on the market too dude the only fucking um gold foil legendary beta lightning dragon for 4400 i'm about to take it down dude there's only 42 of these cards and i got a feeling they're gonna do something with gold foil legendaries make them really important in land play or some sort of crafting 4400 ain't that much really it ain't that much for the, how rare this card is so i'm thinking about taking it down i don't know what i'm gonna do <clears throat> i hope it fucking uh I find out what they're gonna do in the land play before because look some of these cards going for a hundred thousand plateau so four thousand just seems pretty damn cheap man even two thousand seems cheap yeah twenty five thousand that's more like it one of these cards they're so rare dude 50 in circulation there's not many of these cards this is one of the rarest too 42 42 32 angel of light why is angel of light always the rarest and then 33 chromatic dragon chromatic dragon is rare too at 33 but it's always cheap nobody fucking gives chromatic dragon any love it's probably because he's a tank and there's there's a lot of tanks you know there's a lot of tanks out there so <laughs> And I got cards on Hive, too. I gotta get shit off of Hive. How do I get sh Or Wax. Wax! I got shit on Wax. I don't know how to get my shit off of Wax. How the fuck do I do that? But yeah, I'm, I'm happy about Splinterlands, dude. Splinterlands! Yo, my collection, like, one month ago or two months ago, back in June or July, I was trying to fucking sell my cards... <laughs> for like ten thousand dollars yeah for real bro for real 10 10 10 k i was trying to sell my shit for 10 k and what happened nobody wanted my shit they were like no nah. my shit was worth 18 k using listing prices or something market prices the lower of the two was eighteen thousand, and i was trying to sell it for ten thousand point three bitcoin this was before sps dropped and all that and I, nobody wanted I didn't get no hits. I got a couple nibbles where people were trying to get my, like, pieces. Somebody wanted my gold cards. Somebody wanted some legendary cards. But I was like, nah, I ain't breaking it down, bro. 0.3 BTC. Take it or leave it. And everybody left it. Everybody left that shit. And now what happened? Now what the fuck happened, dude? I go to fucking Peak Monsters. Oh, shit. It's already ready. It's already fucking ready. What's my shit say now? 118,000 using list prices. 107,000 using market prices. Like, what? How the fuck did that happen? What the fuck happened? So, that's what fucking happened, dude. The shit 10 x in a month. And it's probably going to keep going up. And what the fuck? That's what happened. So there you go. Like, if you wanted to FOMO into Splinterlands, well, maybe you still can, but I would say it's fucking too late. It's not too late. Like, if if, if SPS is going to go to $4, in my opinion, 50 cents, not too late. But, you know, you had a moment. You had the time. You had the chance to get in here when this shit was so low. That was the time, you know, that's the time when you get into shit, when it's fucking low as hell. When it's in the dirt. That's the time to get into it. Now, it's, you know, it's raised up a little bit. It's not in the clouds yet. It ain't in the clouds, but it's in the sky, man. So you could jump on it if you want. You could pull the string and climb up if you want. But it ain't ground floor dirt. 
like it was just a month ago what crazy though dude that's what sps did any game could just do this all of a sudden out of nowhere but it goes back to this whole thing about the music and the easy money you know shit's flowing how long is this shit gonna last i don't know i fuck around and roll out and get down with it when it's going but this is just like you know gaming and stuff like is this even real these are just you know i don't know like my real savings i only trust bitcoin to be money you know reserve asset reserve currency of the world that's all i fucking get down with really all these other things <clears throat> i play games you know i like to play games and they're all coming out with these tokens and doing all these things and yeah i'll, I'll take some of this sps and uh i just buy cards with it you know all these dark energy crystals and this sps right here i just buy cards i just improve improve my collection i got 1.5 million power for my cards <clears throat> i throw it into my guild <clears throat> to help everybody else get their shit up and increase the um deck bonus allow for more people to get into the guild and that's really what i do with all this shit so it's just like gaming for me will it work long term i sh i hope so you know i'm skeptical as fuck about it but i do hope you know that's what i'm saying like i'm here to, to do it but i'm not like hitching my wagon you know what i'm saying i'm not hitching my wagon to it i got my own car and i'm driving alongside of it and i'm like yeah what's up yeah you know i'm partying with everybody but if this car breaks down you know my wagon's not hitched to it i'm not fucked i still got my own car my own vehicle and i'm like damn that sucks all right y'all uh, yo hop in your and i'm telling everybody like oh that that car broke down the splinterlands car or whatever car broke down oh just just get in your your car just get in your car and people could be like nah bro i put my whole savings into splinterlands nah bro i put my whole savings into access i put my whole savings in the hive oh hold up you don't have your own car bro you was just hitching your wagon on this on this car oh damn damn bro you didn't you didn't think about that oh shit all right well toot toot motherfucker i'm out you know everybody's responsible for themselves you know not to sound harsh or nothing but that's why this is the time just like i say like uh now's not the time to be getting into splinterlands like it's already 10x or whatever sure it could go up again but like the time to get in was when it was fucking low in the dirt you know that was the time to get in it's the same thing with bitcoin like dude the time to get in is when the the music's flowing when the fucking drinks are flowing when there's easy money that's the time to get into bitcoin because when shit hits the fan it's gonna be snap snap crackle pop motherfucker that shit's gonna blow the fuck up all these games could but you know i don't fucking know but i'm saying that's the way this shit works man bitcoin goes up to fucking 500k these games go down 90 percent in value now what that that that's not the time to fucking get in and do your shit the time to get in in the fucking bitcoin is fucking now before this shit goes down you know and like of course i could be wrong but hey it's just what i fucking do you know it's just it's just bitcoin man it's such a beautiful thing that's what it is you know i'm just such head over heels in love with bitcoin really is what it is and uh it's just a beautiful beautiful thing it's freedom it's true love it's humanity's best hope at fucking life without rulers and controllers because all these other tokens you know dark energy crystals sps access token you fucking name it man it was created by some fucking joe schmo group company and they're like all right we're gonna issue 200 billion of these tokens we're gonna keep 
uh, 300 million for our group for uh, marketing and our team and uh, they're gonna be unlocked over this time period and this that like okay sure it can have short-term value but if you're leaning on that shit to be like your life savings man that shit gonna crumble like a fucking dusty ass bitch you need you need to reevaluate that shit motherfucker what in the fuck is you doing um yeah i'm not your daddy right no i am your fucking daddy i'm about to tell y'all kids what in the fuck is y'all doing so there we go that's the talk for the day (laughs) that's gonna be it for this one thank y'all for watching later